Well, the university is remaining absolutely tight-lipped on this. A lot of questions about the timeline with Rogers off the field and then back on the field. There is some insight, though, coming from an interview with the now former Husky offensive coordinator, Ryan Grubb, that interview done right after the Huskies won that Pac-12 championship. We were working through some things that um, some challenges he had off the field. I'm not, I can't comment on what it was exactly. We now know back when then Husky offensive coordinator Ryan Grubb was asked about why the running back Tylen Tybo Rogers didn't play in the Pac-12 championship at the same time serious and graphic allegations were made against him. These allegations and these charging papers still are, are stunning to me. Dan Rayley got that interview with Grubb after the Pac-12 championship win. I just uh, cornered uh, Ryan Grubb because I knew he'd give me an honest answer. Inside court documents charging the 18-year-old running back with two Seattle area rapes, including a Title IX complaint filed at the UW in late November. A warrant found multiple emails within the UW Athletic Department confirming Rogers should be taken off the travel roster for the Pac-12 championship game. But video from the Como sports team shows Rogers back on the field just a month later. Well, the people that made those decisions are not here anymore. He played Texas in the Sugar Bowl on January 1st and Michigan in the national championship game on January 8th. Really has his own hunch. Some people feel like they have to be fair until, you know, a legal decision is made. I've worked on multiple sex abuse allegation cases in the civil litigation arena. Paul Schneiderman, a Seattle sports attorney and litigator. There could be some federal education, privacy guidelines and laws that could be impeding University of Washington from giving some full statements. I went directly to the UW for answers about Rogers' flip-flop status and those decisions. They declined any comment other than what the university said Tuesday when Rogers was charged. He is suspended indefinitely. Perception is everything, too. Image, you know, at the university, image of the football program. Um, you're, you're dealing with all of that. Now, again, I did reach out to the university with those very specific questions. Also reached out to the communi communications department as well as the athletic department there and reached out to former coach Kalen DeBoer, former offensive coordinator Ryan Grubb and the former athletic director Troy Dannon. The only one that got back to us was Troy Dannon through a spokesperson. They said he is not commenting. We'll keep following this case for you. I'll throw it back to you.